president, he lied. And I can tell you the point of departure was uh, during the burial of one of the parents to Rigathi. When the president decided to demonstrate to the whole world that uh, whenever you hear the deputy president saying, I've been sent with half a million shillings or one million shillings to the Harambe, mm -hmm. it was a lie. Mm -hmm. That is why the president sent Kanini and said, take this money to the barrio yourself. And the pres deputy president was there. It's for us to read the signs and it's written diplomatic. Diplomacy is, uh, is, is a very difficult thing, but you can be able to read uh, beyond one act. And that was one demonstration that... Um, uh, he never went out uh -huh. to represent the president because um, um, uh, you notice that um, when he couldn't uh, accept uh, to take the instructions of the president, the coordination of government activities were, were removed from his office so uh -huh. that then he can have the free, the free ransing that he was doing and he has been doing it very well. That is when uh, a PDU was created, another coordination center was created. And actually, um, we started seeing delivery of, of uh, uh, little work, other mm -hmm. than uh, uh, you know, TV appearances and bites and less. Because uh, if you look at uh, uh, the performance of the Jubilee government, you'll be able to assign a lot of uh, works, huge developmental projects, after the hardship. Mm -hmm. Before the hardship, it was just uh, moving around, like uh, my colleague is saying, um, up and down. And uh, I want to repeat it here because it is true and it is very unfortunate that uh, uh, the deputy president unfortunately started campaigning immediately. They got into office. Mm -hmm. He was able to uh, you know, create the impression that he is out there doing projects, but ideally he was selling his blood. And uh, he succeeded in doing that. But let me tell you, uh, and this is the sad thing about this country.